Alright, I got a quick tutorial for you guys today. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be modifying this standard head strap. And we're going to be making it like this one in which you can have a quick buckle on it. Which gives you a lot more mounting options and versatility. And it's particularly important if you're hunting, shooting, um, perhaps even airsoft. I don't know if you can get it over the goggles, but... It's going to help tremendously with your footage in those activities. All right, I have the cameras off the head straps now to give you a better idea of what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be getting rid of this mount, grounding it off so that it'll accept a curved adhesive quick buckle and sticking it on so we got this. And that'll just allow you a lot of different mounting options. Okay, I've removed the nut that was in there and removed it from the actual head strap so we don't bugger that up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go to town on it with uh, an angle grinder, but I mean, you could hacksaw this off and file it, or I mean, if you really wanted to, you could grind this on the sidewalk if you had no tools and get the same result. Now that we've got that taken off and we got it kind of shaped up, what we're going to be doing is sticking a curved adhe adhesive mount on it. And that's pretty self-explanatory, except when we're doing it, we're going to use heat. I'm going to use a heat gun, but you know, you could usually literally use a lighter if you wanted to. We're just going to stick it on there, right in the center. Probably isn't real necessary, but I like to put some clamps on there. Let it sit up for a little bit. Now we're just going to put the strap back on. Hopefully I could squeeze it through there. go on easily like this there you go there you go all right I now have both my head straps modified with quick buckles now if you're confused as to why I did this, go watch my video, Your GoPro Hunting Videos Suck, and it will explain and demonstrate the advantages of doing this modification and the mounts you see here. A little update to that video is in that video I was using this 360 mount and it doesn't have a true 360 rotation. I have since upgraded it to the GoPro ball joint mount, which does, and it also has a little bit of side to side movement, as you can see here, which allows you to move it left, right, up and down, as well as rotating it. This is gonna allow you to get that really perfect on straight down the rib of the gun view. The other quick update I wanna talk about is in that other video, I said you should use the app every single time to line your camera up with the gun. I drew a line in, on the bottom of the case here in line with the lens. And 
I've done the same thing on the brand new uh, 7. And you could set it up by eye with that line in your peripheral without having to go in the app and check everything. All right, you want to see the video that explains why this modification of the head trap is important. I'll click on the video that's going to pop up over the Hero 3. You want to see a badass hunting video that's using the modifications I've done on this head strap? Go click on the video that pops up on the 7 Black.